to the next video in today's video i will show you how to embed a gado view inside an existing screen of react native so uh, if you know i have already made a video about this in uh, like just a while back but in that video i was using the new architecture and also the other thing was i was showing the gado view inside a completely different screen like it was not possible to embed that in an existing react native screen but here i will be using the old architecture first and second is i will be embedding the godot view inside an existing react native screen i know a few people might be disappointed that i will add that i am using old architecture but uh, honestly like the new architecture is still experimental at the time of this recording uh, and i think from what i have heard like not many people have adopted the new architecture yet so what the react native team is doing is they are creating a thin layer Uh, so that uh, the old architecture components can work even when with a new architecture project so yeah maybe i'm not sure whether that is feasible right now but at least in future that's what they are planning to do uh, so that all libraries uh, need not be updated i think few minor changes you might have to do uh, for your library but uh, apart from that everything should work so let's get started uh, first things first is that uh, there if you have watched my flutter video a similar issue uh, happens with react native even with the old architecture like here you can see it is not occupying the entire black screen and there is this space between this uh, my gado view and this text view even though i have not applied this screen my gado view is not occupying the entire uh, high width and height which i am uh, giving it uh, so if you know how to resolve this issue do let me know in the comments the other thing is uh, just like my flutter uh, what i have done over here inside app.tsx if you see uh, this is i have created one text component from uh, react native and this is my te second text component and this is my uh, what you will say a gado view so here you can see that they are uh, anyways in uh, uh, you know in a column uh, style like one below the other but uh, this my view manager or just like flutter or always occupies the top uh, uh, like the x and y coordinates of 0 and 0 but here in react native it is possible like here you will have to change this i will show you exactly what you will have to do but i'm just telling at the start just to avoid confusion so here you will have to change something like uh, whatever your is x and y coordinates so some suppose uh, x should be start from 20 and y should start from 20 then it would come below so you will have to like it's not like as far as i know it's otherwise you will have to send props uh, from uh, react native side just like we are sending width and height as a prop you can send x and y as a prop as well so yeah we'll uh, cover that uh, let's get started so first what you would have to do is create a react native project and uh, i have literally copied everything from this documentation of integration with android fragment example so uh, it's better if you open this documentation as well uh also i have uh, listed down all the steps which i need to do uh, for uh, integrating gado inside an existing uh, uh like an application so i have just written out down all this notes so that i don't have to read all the documentation as such so yeah let's get started so first what you will have to do is uh, you will have to add this uh, screen orientation equal to full user inside android manifest.xml file so here you can see uh, go to your android manifest.xml file and here you will have to add this uh, screen orientation of full user okay that's the first thing we have already have this in react native so we don't need to do this uh, second thing is at the time of this recording i am using godo 4.2 but if you are using later version of godo that's fine as well so you will have to copy this okay and go to your android build.gradle over here and copy it over here so uh, to be uh, exact like i'm using godo 4.2.1 and if you're using future version you can just uh, check out maven central and search for godo engine godo and it will give you the exact latest version okay that's the second thing next you will have to add this android resources like in the godo documentation they have uh, mentioned that use aapt options but that is deprecated so it's better to use android resources so just copy paste this and again you will have to go to build.gradle and copy paste it over here so that's done next okay we will not be using this we will not be using this 
okay we won't be using this okay next what you will have to do go open your android folder inside android studio i have already opened it uh, next what you will have to do is you will have to go to you uh, you will have to uh, create a file called my view manager and uh, let's see the documentation what it says okay so free create first custom view okay so i don't have a custom view instead of custom view we will just reference the gado gado view so next it tells that create a fragment so i have just literally created a class called my fragment and copy pasted everything from the documentation so create a class called my fragment over here and again i have copy pasted everything from documentation the only thing which i have changed is inside your res folder you will have to create this folder called my fragment layout.xml and here i have taken a linear layout with a frame layout and this id of gado fragment container okay and i have referenced it over here so this you will have to change this line you will have to change because we don't have a custom view in documentation if you see they are referencing the custom view which we don't have next uh, instead on view created we will have to initialize the gado uh, fragment so th this is like i have just copy pasted this from the gado documentation and this is how you uh, initialize the gado fragment so this is your gado fragment and this will contain the entire game of uh, which you have okay uh, so that's how and this should be your id which you have defined it inside your xml file and here uh, given that we are also extending gado host here i am creating a gado fragment for it and you also need to override this method called get gado and here i am just calling gado fragment dot gado so this is done next we have to create a view manager class again i have just copy pasted everything from docs and i have created a class called my view manager and here you can see i have copy pasted everything from docs okay so here if you can see we are passing the width and height from react native side i'm still not sure why it is not occupying the entire width and height it will just occupies the partial width and height i tried changing my gado games width and height as well so so this is zero zero if you want the view to be at the top now what i'll do is i'll make it 100 100 so that i can show you uh that uh, the upper react native text was not visible right so i will just run this again so if you see this is the current output but uh, now i have given given that i have given this x and y coordinates as 100 it will come down and here at the top you should see hello from react native i give it uh, some time to run and here you can see again i have copy pasted everything from the docs okay next what it tells is uh register the view manager so create a class called my package so here you can see that i have created a class called my package and again i have just registered our view manager called my view manager uh, next inside main application you will have to go over inside get packages and you will have to add your my package which we have created okay and return packages this you have this you will have to add that's it so this is done uh, okay next what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go to your app just right click on it new folder create an assets folder i have already created it over here and inside the assets folder you will have to create your gado game make sure you do not create any subfolders inside your assets folder so here you can see my gado game is directly inside the assets folder uh, so you can use your gado engine uh, for, or the gado editor for creating this game and here i will show you the output as well the output is ready so here you can see i'm not sure how good the output is but here you can see hello from react native at the top because i have changed the x and y code and my gado game is very simple like it is just an apple like a glb model and it is rotating at every frame per second i'm not sure how uh, <laughs> good it is uh, for you because i'm uh, streaming over wi-fi i have not connected by usb that's why the output might be a little laggy for you so here you can see i have created my gado game and here what i have done i have like now this gado game can be anything it can be a 3d game and 2d game what i have done is i have just taken a world environment a directional light and a camera 3d and i have attached one script to it and here you can see i'm called inside already i'm calling this method called load gltf apple.glb and here i have added a glb model so if you don't know what glb is it is a 3d model format and inside a process which is called every frame per second i am just rotating our uh, like apple glb model uh, ev like rotating it on the z axis and this is the method for uh, loading the gltf model 
okay uh, next what you will have to do is uh, okay let's see what okay so we have done this we have done this we have done this we have added a script as well okay this is done okay now we will have to go to project project settings window okay so project project settings uh, search for window and here though i have given this width uh, like uh, very high still it does not occupy the entire width and i'm not sure why and give this width and height according to your convenience like whatever you feel appropriate and inside orientation you can set this as portrait okay uh, so that is done and now you should be able to run it inside gado uh, like uh, now you can first run it inside gado just to make sure your game is proper and you also have to select a current scene okay so make sure this scene is your current scene once you click on the run button it will show you do you want to make this as current so this is running on my mac uh, so this is not on my uh, android device but uh, just to check whether our gado game is proper or not and here you can see like i am running now you just have to uh, run like uh, whatever your command is yarn android or whatever you use uh, and just you should be able to see it on your uh, real device oh sorry one thing which i forgot was also go to your app dot uh, first you have to create this file called my view manager dot tsx because this is the name of the file which we created over here so this is also in the docs i forgot to tell you that so create this type of file and now to use it we have to use something like this okay so again i have copy paste so go inside app.tsx i have first you created this and i have added this imports like these three imports from react native created this and here you can see i am using it something like this and also add this use effect and use ref as well so yeah i think uh, that should be it the only issue with react native is that uh, so here you can see you can pass the x and y coordinate as a the uh, prop as well but here you then you will have to handle it by yourself just like i don't think it would be too difficult just like you are handling prop width and prop height here you can add something like this as well okay and i think the only uh, problem is uh, like i'm not sure why this godov is not occupying the entire width and height between these two text uh, like i have tried changing it over here maybe it's because of this like i have tried changing it to entire width so here you can see i have gotten the window dimension i was passing the entire width but still it was not occupying so if you know how to resolve that do let me know i think uh, i have not forgot anything that should be it i guess uh, yeah yeah that should be it thank you for watching uh, bye uh, uh yeah thanks bye